This could be awesome. It could also not be awesome. It could piss me off and say, oh, look, another money grabbing scheme. It's like, sign up for the open and you get a level. Yo, just came out with the CrossFit levels. CrossFit levels, what are they? I'm going to give you what I can take from it, and I'm going to give you a little bit of my perspective on this whole thing. I'm going to attack it as non-negatively as possible. I don't think I'm a negative person, but some of you guys might be getting a negative vibe off of me. I am the realistic person. I love positivity. Most things, I hear it, and when people are just being negative for no reason, it's a little it hurts me a little bit. I am also in the camp where I don't like to look at something and assume the best, hope for the best, and just wait for the best, and then, you know, get kicked in the butt when it doesn't end up turning out the right way. So I like to be realistic with these things. So I'm going to use that perspective towards what this CrossFit Levels deal looks like to me. I'm just going to read the entire thing off to you. I don't think I'm going to interject at all, but I'm just going to read to you what CrossFit.com posted about its levels. Introducing new competition levels. This year, CrossFit will introduce new competition levels following the conclusion of the CrossFit Open for athletes who submit all three scores. What are competition levels? Competition levels will help athletes of every fitness level and ability level to find and compete against others of a similar level in CrossFit's virtual competitions and other licensed competitions and events throughout the season. Long sentence there. The capabilities and accomplishments of the fittest on earth continue to challenge our assumptions about what is humanly possible. Each year, the games athletes in every division demonstrate a level of fitness even more impressive than the year before. At the same time, newcomers enter the Open for the first time each year, needing, as beginners always have, an opportunity to test their fitness relative to their own physical and psychological tolerances. In between, hundreds of thousands of athletes around the world are entering the Open for the second, seventh, or even the twelfth time, using the Open as an annual benchmark to assess fitness, measure progress, motivate training, and remind themselves of the strength and the sport of the CrossFit community. Levels create an opportunity for athletes at every stage of the journey from the first time open competitor to the professional CrossFit athlete to find and compete against others like them. How you get one. How you get one. Only athletes who participate in 2022 Open will be eligible to receive a level in 2022. Following the close of the Open, all athletes who submit scores for every workout will automatically receive a level based on their overall performance. Levels will be displayed on each athlete's profile. Dual vision athletes, age group athletes who are participating in individual divisions will be awarded two levels one within the individual division and one within their respective age division. All right. So what do I think? I think, per my last video, that CrossFit needs to do a little bit of something to up the standardization of the entire thing. What does it mean if no one's doing the workouts the right way where you're at in the open? You know, believe it or not, this thing, I saw it and I thought it was exciting. I go, oh, cool, levels. It really made me think of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, MMA, karate, really. You go in and they're given a belt. You don't have a belt, right? No belt when you go into karate and you progress through the color system. You go from like white to yellow, orange, blue, purple, and then it's like red, brown, black. There's like, how black is your belt? It's the darkest of dark blacks. I got like a triple black, black belt. Then I don't know what stage at which, but usually once you get to a certain stage of beltage in karate, then you're allowed to teach and instruct. I thought it would be a very cool way for CrossFit to implement a karate method and at a certain point, you know, but you're not going to have a Rich Froning running at a CrossFit affiliate. That's not really how it works. I guess he's a good coach, but maybe, I don't know, he's not going to run a CrossFit affiliate because he's the best in the world. But I did like the idea that there is something tied to the individual to show your level. So level, there you go, CrossFit levels. What's your level? What level CrossFitter are you? That's going to be a weird question that's going to begin to be asked, I suppose. I'm a level 100 CrossFitter. Like, where does it stop? They haven't said that. Where does it start? Like, I'm a level one. Maybe that's what happens when you walk into the gym. I'm a level one CrossFitter. That would be cool. It'll like raise the level of gamage again, and hopefully that doesn't lead to more cheating like I've been talking about. Hopefully they up the standardization so that your level is pretty accurate. And I really wish that they would have brought back the importance of the Open. I did read that I do think they're going to take into consideration your performance in the quarterfinal, the semifinal, and the games. So at the end of the season, you will be given a level, which I do think is pretty cool. And it does say in there that it is more or less for the people in the 
thousands. So like 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, right around there. The reason that this is going to get iffy is because there are people who just aren't doing the reps well. Like they're starting at the Tia Tumis. I just put out the video where Tia Tumis not doing her reps well. So so-and-so who's 50,000th, like what do their reps look like? Does their weight the same? Did they even use a judge? I don't know. And then it's going to mess up all the levels. And I love the idea of the levels. The levels are super cool. It's going to be an issue no matter what, but I think it would have been better if you had I mean, it's a, there's always been a level. Like, where'd you finish in the Open? The winner of the Open was, in my opinion, the fittest person on earth. They beat 300,000 people to get there, and then they get the prize. Over the course of the five weeks, the test was a little bit more complete. Everybody was doing everything they could because it meant something to get somewhere. And then the whole way down the leaderboard, it looked pretty freaking good. Everybody was no repping everybody because they wanted to be an accurate representation of where they were in their fitness level. Now, I suppose, put a level on it. That's cool. But if you said, oh, I finished 80,000th in the world. Back in the day, it was cool to say, hey, I was top 50 in the region. That was cool. It's going to be cool, I think. Hopefully, it's going to be a step forward so long as they hold the, the, the standards high. Hopefully, it doesn't bring negativity to the community, which is, what level are you? Oh, I only hang out with the level 10s. Like, don't you can't work out with us because you're not a level 10. You're a level 4. Oh, yeah, get over there. This has always been in CrossFit. Everyone has had a sense of who's who, where are you doing, how's it going, and I think that the best thing that was ever implemented was at the level one program, they say that it's written for the best and it's scaled for the rest, and the art and the importance of the entire thing came from the fact that if so-and-so over there is doing Amanda, which is 975 of muscle-ups and squat snatches at 135, you would say, all right, that person went RX, this person went RX, this person went RX. This person finished in three minutes, this person finished in four, this person finished in five. Relative to this workout, this is where the fitness stacks up. And then the second that you scaled something, you couldn't get any higher than third. So you finished in fourth. So if you scaled it and finished in three minutes, and then you use like a 115 pound barbell, okay, that's fine. You can finish in three minutes, but you didn't beat these people because they did the whole thing. Or you could do the workout with pull-ups. And then you finished fifth because you didn't do the muscle ups and maybe you didn't do the weight on the bar either. And there was, it was always like a gray area. Like, where did you finish? How'd you scale? Did you do the movements properly? It's a step in the right direction with what they're doing, I believe. It's cool. Anyone who says that it's not possibly cool, they're just being a hater. They're being negative. I don't want to be negative. I want to be hopeful. This could be awesome. It could also not be awesome. It could piss me off and say, oh, look, another money grabbing scheme. It's like, sign up for the open and you get a level. But I would like to hope for the other part. I don't know much more about any of this, so I can just stop talking about it now. And I hope that you picked up a little bit of something. And I hope that maybe I'm the first person you heard it from at this point. I want to do this crap. Andrew Hiller. Bye.